for months, the numbers have been exposing how minorities are more vulnerable to the virus because of underlying health conditions brought on by a lack of access to health care in minority communities. This has been going on for generations. Now, Atlanta mayor, she wants to take action to address the racial disparities in the COVID numbers and more once and for all. John Sherrick breaks down the mayor's order tonight. The evidence right before our eyes, everywhere among us, blacks, Latinos, other minorities continue to contract COVID-19 at higher rates than whites do. Jennifer Santana describing her struggles last month, six people in her family out of 12 infected. You can't breathe, you have back pain, it feels like you pulled a muscle, and it doesn't matter how you move, where you move to, how you sit. It, it, it hurts. Now Atlanta's mayor, Keisha Lance Bottoms, signing an administrative order to convene a special council to try to eliminate the racial disparities. The mayor declaring that racism is a public health crisis that contributes to the COVID-19 racial and ethnic disparities in Atlanta. It sums it up and she is spot on. This is clearly uh, an all hands on deck moment. Dr. Patrice Harris of Atlanta, the former president of the American Medical Association, says look no further than the latest COVID-19 numbers from the CDC. Among blacks and Latinos, for example, compared to whites, everything is worse. More infections, more hospitalizations, more deaths. Because of underlying conditions brought on by chronic inadequate access to health care in minority communities going back generations. Pre-COVID, uh, we were dealing with health inequities uh, due to uh, structural racism. Dr. Harris believes the mayor's goals to eliminate health inequities are realistic, doable. We can design targeted interventions because, again, it won't be a one-size-fits-all approach. It should be based on the data and the needs of the community. Mayor Bottoms has not set a timetable, but her order is to get started and get started right away. The latest numbers show COVID-19 cases are declining in Georgia. A little more than 2,500 new cases reported today. However, that still means the virus is widespread. And we're also reminded that it's still deadly too. 82 additional deaths recorded in the state today. That is more than 300 in the past three days. Testing numbers dropped slightly today, but overall they show our weekly average positivity rate that's falling. It is now 9.7% to the goal is less than 5% still a lot of work to do.